This is the Poco X5 Pro, which has a 6.67 inch AMOLED display and supports a 120 hertz refresh rate. Apple, Google, Samsung, take note. The IR Blaster allows you to set up your device using the Mi Remote app, so you can use your phone to control appliances like your television, DVD player, fan, projector, etc. And this feature also appears on the expensive flagship Xiaomi phone. So to see it on the mid-range price Poker X5 Pro is excellent. On the top of the device, starting from left to right, you have a 3.5mm headphone jack, followed by speaker, a microphone, and you have an IR blaster. On the right hand side of the device, you have the volume rocker and the on off button, which also doubles up as the fingerprint sensor. At the bottom of the device, and again, starting from left to right, you have a speaker, meaning this device has stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. You then have a Type-C charging port, another microphone, and a SIM tray. Your device can take not one, but two nano SIMs. So you can use one SIM for work, and one for personal. Or you can use one SIM for personal, and one for traveling, which saves you carrying two phones or swapping SIMs. And there is no expandable storage. The front is made of Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and the back and sides are made of plastic. There are no button configurations on the left hand side of the device. Besides this yellow and black colour, the Poco X5 Pro does also come in blue and black. With the refresh rate, you do have the option of running this at 120Hz or at 60Hz. Take the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus, starting from around $800, because they only have a 60 hertz refresh rate. The Poco X5 Pro does come with 5G, meaning that it is future-proof. In the toggle section, you do have the following options, aeroplane mode, lock orientation, Google Pay, auto brightness, and swipe along, see you've got Screen recorder, got reading mode, ultra battery saver, 31.5 gigabytes of pre-installed apps, leaving you with around 225 gigabytes of internal storage to play with. You can also delete some of the pre-installed apps to improve the storage capacity. In terms of screen brightness, this device can get up to 500 nits and more. One thing I do like is if, for example, you are in YouTube. And if you swipe over on this white line, you'll see you'll get this video toolbox. So you can play around with the screencast, the sound, record, etc. In addition to that, you also have access to your apps on the sidebar. In terms of biometrics, you do have the following options to unlock your device. So you've got the screen lock, you can use a fingerprint, you have face unlock, and on the bottom right there, you can even unlock your device via Bluetooth. Let's now put the fingerprint to the test. Here we go. Look at that. That was quick. Try that again. There. There you have it. Pretty quick. In addition, you also have the Google feed, 
Hang in, you can keep on top of any sports, tech, entertainment, etc. The device does have an IP53 dust and splash resistant rating. The charging animation on this device does put its rivals to shame. And what I also love about this animation is that you will see it on the more expensive flagship Xiaomi phones. Storage wise, you have a choice of two options, starting with the 128 gigabytes with six gigabytes of RAM or the 256 gigabytes with eight gigabytes of RAM. And just for the record, I chose the 256 gigabyte model. For such a big phone, this device is really light and comfortable to use as it only weighs 181 grams. The Poco X5 Pro does come with Android version 12 and the latest MIUI version 14 on top. This is a strange decision by Poco to release the device with Android 12 and not 13 because the Poco X5 Pro was released in February 2023 and Android 13 was released in August 2022. If you're enjoying this video, then a subscribe to the channel below would be sensational and it is free to do as my analytics are showing less than 3% of you are subscribed to the channel. And a big thank you to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. Also, by hitting that notification bell, you will not miss out on any upcoming videos. There is no wireless charging, but you do have a 67 watt fast charger that will have you up and running in no time. On the front of the device, you have a 60 megapixel wide front facing or selfie camera. And you can shoot video at 1080p at 30 frames and 60 frames per second. On the rear of the device, you have a triple camera setup, starting with a 108 megapixel wide camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 2 megapixel macro camera. And you can shoot video up to a maximum of 4K at 30 frames per second. If you want to take advantage of that high resolution 108 megapixel camera, you will need to go within the more section within the camera app and select the 108 megapixel option every time. So you know, the photos and videos you're about to see have not been altered pre or post production.
I was able to use the device heavily all day doing the usual things like watching endless amounts of YouTube videos, taking photos and videos, being on social media, listening to music, making and receiving phone calls etc which by the way were crystal clear. The only thing I did not do was gaming as I do not play games on my devices. Or maybe I should start doing so. By the end of each day I would be left with about 30% of battery life and that is using the device with the 120Hz refresh rate turned on. In terms of updates, it is unclear how many years of software updates you would get, but I'm going to take a wild and educated guess and say you would probably get three years of software updates and maybe an additional year of security patch updates. The device comes with a lot of features, so let's take a look at a few to whet your appetite. Do note, they also appear on the more expensive Xiaomi flagship phones. The second space is exactly that, where you can do everything like in your main space and it is super secure. In effect, it's like having two devices within one and it works flawlessly. You do have the option of changing the color scheme from the recommended vivid to saturated, standard, or you can go in the advanced settings menu here and change things further. With the device fully charged, you can get a good 26 hours out of it. And should you need to, you can turn on the ultra battery saver option and that should extend the battery life further. So here, it will be 85 hours. However, do take note that it will restrict some of the things it can do. You do get a 5,000 milliamp battery with the device, which will definitely last you all day with heavy use and handle all tasks. If you do find you're running short, a quick charge with the 67 watt charger will see you up and running in no time. With the floating windows, you do have the option of opening, hiding, viewing, or minimizing. By placing your finger on the flash, you can use it to measure your heart rate. However, do note you do need to make sure you enable this feature for it to work. You can set up an animation, so when you receive a message, your screen will light up. To do so, just tap on there, and you have a choice here of this pulse blue, pulse red, or starlight. If you have any doubts about how good the device is, We'll just have a look at a lot of the big YouTubers and you will see the Poco X5 Pro appears in their Smartphone of the Year awards and it wins certain categories.